cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa. Today I'm going to stir fry bitter melon or bitter gourd together with some egg. Okay, so uh, first of all, you need to uh, remove, cut off, um, cut off the uh, the bitter gourd and remove the the seeds it. Yeah, the white portion of it. Now try to remove the white portion as much as possible because those things are actually bitter, the source of bitterness. So after that, you uh, and cut them into uh, thin slices like this, not too thin. If it's too thin, then uh, you don't really feel the texture anymore. Uh, I'll prefer to feel a little bit of crunchiness. Okay, so something like this. And also soak them under cold water and put some salt, about one, uh, one and a half teaspoon of salt. Uh, let it uh, and squeeze them a little bit like this. Yeah, just squeeze them, squeeze out the bitterness. This will really help to squeeze out the bitterness. There were, uh, there was once somebody commented that uh, when you squeeze out the bitterness, you also squeeze out the nutrient. Oh well, uh, I think to me, I don't really mind because uh, it is so difficult to measure how much nutrient is inside you are going to uh, before squeeze out and after squeeze out, right? So uh, I just don't going to bother it because if it's too bitter, my family definitely cannot eat. Okay, so I need to squeeze out the bitterness. Uh, most of the time, we are cooking the dish not for ourselves but for our family. So I can take bitterness, but my family can't. Okay, so um, just let it uh, soak for about ten minutes or so. Then we will start um, stir frying. There's only two steps. The first step is to uh, stir fry the bitter melon itself for probably about one minute and then uh, stir fry the egg and put everything together. Okay, so you put some oil in the wok and then you heat it up. Once it is heated up, you can actually uh, put in your bitter melon. The, the purpose of stir frying here, it is uh, what we Chinese call, uh, the Chinese chef will call tuan shen. Tuan shen actually doesn't mean cook. Tuan shen actually means it is no longer raw. So we don't have to um, stir fry for a long time. We just have to probably uh, saute this for probably about one minute or so. Then you just, you can then remove it. Okay, the wall is fully heated, then only I put in my bitter melon. And you can actually start seeing the color of my bitter melon started to change. Okay, now you can actually take it out very fast. Okay, I'm going to remove it from the Walk and continue with the next step. All right. Now the next time you also needed a heated wok, but now you will need a lot more oil. Okay, a lot more oil. And you don't want to wait until your your oil is actually hot. While it is cool, the wall is now co uh, heat, uh, heated up, but the oil is cold, you can actually put in the egg. Then you put in your bitter melon. Give it a few stir. And off the fire. Done. You want to take it out. Now you want to take it out. As you can see from here, my egg is actually half cooked. Yeah, it is still runny. Yeah, now is the time where you can actually put a little bit of light soya sauce on top. All right, and it is done. Okay, this is the smooth egg uh, bitter gut melon. Something uh, it is actually a quite a famous dish in uh, uh, Penang. Somehow you can't find it in Kuala Lumpur. I don't know. I always wondering why or how the chef managed to do make the egg runny 
apparently it's all about putting a lot more oil and uh, put in your egg when the oil is still cold but even though the wok is already heated all right i hope you like my video do share my video on your facebook uh, this is a very special bitter uh, bitter melon uh, stir fried bitter melon with egg if you like my video do share my video on your facebook to your friends come to cooking about facebook page, page page to click like and follow button follow up on instagram and subscribe to cooking about youtube channel thank you very much bye bye